this video, we're going to take a look at the blend tool. So I'm just going to come up here to our create tab and we're going to click on the blend. Right here in the reference level, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to sketch the base of our blend, the form that we're going to create using our blend tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the rectangle. And similar to the extrusion tool, it's important that the forms that we create in our sketch while we're here in sketch mode are closed loop once again, uh, similar to the extrusion. So I'm going to create on the reference level this rectangle. Now when I come up here to my contextual ribbon, you'll see that edit vertices is grayed out and right now we can actually click on edit top. You'll watch this button actually change as I click on edit top. Now that button converts to edit base. So we can actually toggle back and forth in sketch mode creating the form sketch line work that we need for the blend that we're going to create and just go back and forth if we need to modify the base I would just click on this button again but let's go ahead and we're going to use one of these polygons and we'll leave it at six size that's fine and I'm just going to come in here and sketch my top once again, similar to extrusion, you'll see our, our depth here that we can go ahead and control prior to creating the form. We'll change that to five feet. We could control the number of sides. If we wanted to create a polygon, we could, you know, we could change this to five and so forth. And we're just going to click OK now that we have our base created. And you'll see the form over here in our 3D view. I'm just going to bring that up. And now you can see the form transforming from our rectangle at the base to that hexagon sketch that we created for the top. I'm going to select this line work just so we can look at our properties menu quickly. If I wanted to modify the depth between, you can see we have the option of changing that up here in our options bar once again or over here in the properties. So I can change this to 10 feet here and click apply and we'll watch that form actually ex pretty much blend between the two forms with a length of 10 feet. One of the nice things, if we click out here, you'll actually see that rather than I'm going to, I can actually create a length parameter where I can create different types based on that length for this blend form if we wanted to. Parameters are explored more in, in some of the other videos, but we have the option of creating a length parameter for any form that we create as well. So that's creating a blend. You'll see that it's not as important here to create a second reference plane. When we're creating our forms, we can actually just use this edit base and edit top coming from our original reference plane. And Revit will allow us to, through the properties depth, just go ahead and, and assign a parameter to control our depth along the blend. So I hope this video is helpful as you create your blends in the different family developments and the conceptual massing that you're doing.